What is going on, guys? Welcome to FIFA 23. We're at the beginning of a new year. You know we're going to go in, start a Manchester United FIFA 23 career mode series. And I'm bringing it back old school here, guys. Bring it back to oh, the days I did, what, FIFA 16, FIFA 17 career mode, FIFA 18. Let me know which one you first watched or you like the most of my Man United career modes. But yeah, we're bringing back the, yeah, like no face cam, just 100% gameplay. And yeah, the way I'm just setting everything up that you probably can't see as well and yeah I'm just really feeling like uh, those older times as well so yeah I'm really excited what we're going to do this year with career mode but also over FIFA 23 as a whole if you watch my last video I just updated you guys saying that I've created a channel a bit more for just FIFA stuff because uh, here we do football manager and a bit of you know the Manchester United career modes and other career mode series of course uh, but yeah the manager stuff over on this channel here, uh, this new one, or it's an older channel, we just rebranded and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be doing my player career mode series because it's too much to have all on this one channel. So yeah, then we can uh, do those full series of a player career mode. And I'll do a bit of ultimate team stuff as well. So yeah, I'll pin the comment uh, like of that channel and just go over to uh, subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. So uh, I'm surprised here. They say pro clubs and Volta football. It's record recommended an ultimate team doesn't say recommended that's mad so uh yeah also this year guys yeah we're playing on pc but pc has got uh it's net pc pc is next gen this year so hopefully we'll be able to tell that and look how you have to <laughs> you have to go yeah all this way to go to career mode not from the first screen but anyway yeah i can feel it's so much more slicker anyway and we'll download the latest squads can't you tell uh, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Uh, should be able to tell in the video as well. But yeah, and if you've got it yourself on PC, so yeah, as I said, for player career mode, check out uh, check out my other channel. That's going to be strictly FIFA stuff. But you know what we're going to do here, and for a new game. And you, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, before we get too excited. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, as in a new game, I want to see, you know, how everything is feeling. We're not going to rush as maybe we would, uh, you know, like later in the year and stuff like that. So, Ten Hag, you know, we are going to really do, like, because he's like the new manager. So, we're going to try and rebuild the team. And, of course, like on the thumbnail, a couple of his new signings. Uh, I think it will just be fitting. And this just adds a bit more. So this is the first thing where I notice is like, okay, that's cool. Change outfit. Uh, we're going to leave defaults. We'll leave defaults for now. Maybe change things later. Let's get into it right now. And I like how they have the update of Graham Potter at Chelsea. That's cool. So, well, I mean, it's realistic <laughs> and it's true. So, yeah, Eric Ten Hag rebuild begins today. Let's see what, yeah, we want to see how each section looks. I mean, he, he kind of doesn't look like him and he kind of, like, it looks like he like he's a poor version of him, but low-key. But uh, look at that money, man. Like, that's a lot. So I really like you guys to get involved because really when you got that kind of budget, you can go crazy and maybe a tad unrealistic. So I want you guys to get up in the comments. I like to listen to the viewers, so be sure to get in your transfer suggestions and I'll keep that in mind for the next episodes. I'm uh, probably not going to do too much. I might want to make one signing to just see, you know, transfer negotiations. Uh, but let's see how that all is. So, yeah, we're all good uh, to get into this one now. And, of course, guys, if you're new... Be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss uh, an episode. Yeah, so ultimate difficulty. We are going to play on Legendary and we see, like, there's no demos anymore. Uh, my first game you'll see will be my first game of FIFA 23. So, yeah, we'll play in Sterling, play in Pounds just to be uh, more suitable. Uh, no financial takeover. This is just pretty self-explanatory stuff right here. But yeah, we'll definitely up to ultimate if we find things are too easy on legendary. Uh, but, you know, I won't hide behind it. You guys know we got sacked last year. So yeah, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But uh, let's see how the career mode is looking though. Football. Why do we like this? 
honestly, this screen looks the same. They have, uh, to be honest, it's not the most important screen, so let's not worry about that too much. A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. So there was the little introduction as well. Uh, so American Challenge Cut, like all these, you know, <laughs> that's give or take. And we don't really need money. And they're all four star as well. Uh, by, but by the looks of things, as an educated guess, uh, the Champions Trophy might be a better chance to make it all the way. Uh, yeah, considering the prize money is really similar, it's lower but again you saw our money we have we don't really need too much more so uh yeah it depends what our first game will be okay i i like the presentation uh cooler bali obviously a <laughs> new signing and again like the manager's rating at the top left okay take a let's take a look at this oh there's so much oh okay can we go to the inbox there we okay i like how that is champions trophy Yep, there's Al Shabab. Al Shabab. They'll probably be the easy beat. So, what I like to do, of course, I love, I love scouting for the youth players. I needed to focus on how we said that, and you can't just say straight out you love youth. <laughs> that has a bit of the Adam Johnsons about it. But yeah, we. I, I'm not sure if they really. I think. I don't know. How much more can you really expect them to change? You know what I mean? Like what youth, like the scouting's pretty simple. So Adu is the, okay, okay. We go straight to Harry Stevens. Five, like guys, it's not going to start better than this. And some of the other guys, okay, a, a, two or three might be okay, but he's a star. Harry Stevens. Five star, five star, amazing potential. Everything is lined up. Like, he's, like, superstar quality. Like, we're not going to promote him to the senior team instantly. You know, just let him settle a bit, even though he is 17. Probably won't wait too long to do that. But, yeah, he he's quality. He's quality. And in terms of that, like we we're just saying, we'll get more and we'll, we'll, we'll go into that, but we'll we'll table it for now and we'll just take a look at expectations. I'm really intrigued. Let's go into this right now. Confidence rating. Okay. Yeah. Sign f like the signings, we're not going to take. Look, youth development critical. So we will get into that. But as I said, I like our brand expert. There's a, there's a, there's a goal there. Uh, 12 clean sheets in the league. And I'd love to do some viewer, subscriber, I don't know the actual name, what to call it, if we'll call it something, uh, in terms of you guys, the viewers, the subscribers, kind of expectations. If you have any expectations, it could be as a team, it could be goal scored, assists, uh, could be individual players' goals or, or expectations, like someone to score a certain amount or get a certain amount of assists. I'm just tabling ideas out there. Maybe you guys, uh, yeah, to really get the fans involved. So, yeah, just so you know how you want to go about that. Uh, you win, win the Europa League. I think if that was Champions League win, <laughs> yeah, we got to get back finishing top four. Finish in a UEFA Champions League place. I accept that. I accept that. I think last time the expectations may have been to win the Premier League. So if you're hovering around third and fourth, your job is still under fire because you're not finishing top. So that's okay. And it's still a fair challenge. Uh, I mean, Man United's in Europa League. Manager gets sacked <laughs> like Oli, yeah? But hopefully Ten Hag doesn't and we make the right moves under his name. And this is what we might consider as well, at least if there's realistic, yeah, you know, if there's realistic scare. The, the fact, though, a lot of these guys, James Madison is amazing, but it's all about realism. Is he going to sign for Manchester United? I, I don't know if you see that move happening, but Jamie Vardy at 35, probably not. That's probably not a career mode signing. And Ben Burton Diaz uh, at Blackburn, he's probably not going to be. Yeah, generally a lot of these guys, they're 
they're what the game sees as realistic transfers because they're players in the Premier League or not just realistic, but players more notable to you anyway. So, yeah, we're going to leave that. But definitely James Madison is probably, if back in the days I'm targeting the best option, that's James Madison. Most talented out of these guys? Yeah, yeah, James Madison is that tick. But is he an option that you guys think is viable? That's another question, but yeah, he's clearly the most talented out of that bunch. And introductions, yeah, GTN scouts, what I generally do out of this, uh, I don't utilize it too much, because as I said, I I go off what you guys say, so what I generally do is I get, I get rid of, I remove these instructions, and I re recall the scouts. Generally, it's the first few, yeah? Yeah, you can recall the scout for your for your own scouting you want to do. So I probably will go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, for the targets you guys really want me to go for. So I just want to take a look. There's Bruno Fernandes right there. Yeah, I don't mind the menu. It's a little bit upgraded from last year. It's not completely overhauled. It's not refreshed, but I like it. I feel it's just got a, a bit of a, a facelift. That's just me uh, personally anyway. And as I said, I played on PC. So yeah, this is next gen uh, this year. And I can definitely tell it's just a bit more uh, higher level. So there's Ten Hag as well. So again, there's... Okay. I like how there's a lot on this screen. And just leave it on there for a bit. Like... It's presented pretty well. I, I like it. So, Youth Star, not bad. Monk. Monk. Yeah, he's not bad. But I like to get a fight. Like, if you can get someone who's five star, five star out of. Oh, yeah, like Jake. Jake Goddard. Why, why don't you sign him up when you've got too much. You got too much money. We got too much money, lads. I just want to go sign Mbappe, but as I said, unrealistic. So. For the time being, Jay Goddard. We'll go Jay Goddard. Jay Goddard, the best. <laughs> the yeah, I thought about it differently for a second, but if we go Jay Goddard, keep it simple. Like, I, I like to get the best English scout, or I say best, five star, five star, and then just have them go, yeah, year round or nine months round. <laughs> you could never do 12 months, but uh, we'll do that. For me, that's the best. And then Monk. Dude, I just feel I want to keep the realism. We just go, I'll do it for three months in England as well, just so if you guys think, oh, no, we'll, we'll switch that up uh, at a later date. But, oh, no, yep, you can't do that. See, I normally wouldn't because normally we wouldn't be in this situation. So, yeah, uh, with Monk, I don't know what you think we do with him uh, because... <laughs> you like you, you could have sent your best scout abroad but i just want to keep the youth academy english so do you reckon we fire him because we've got jake goddard now i just and in the future if we try and get another one i'd want to get someone else who's five star five star so hopefully you guys understand my logic and i'm gonna i'm gonna take some initiative sometimes and i'm like yep yeah. long term we want more five star five star scouts so there we go and it really did not hurt the budget, did it? <laughs> yeah, not at all. So let's take a look a bit of the squad as well. We'll go to team management. Just Not just to take a look at the squad, but let's see the ratings. Like, I haven't watched any early videos of FIFA. I'm, I'm coming in so fresh to it. Anthony, yeah, I'm going to keep it default, you know, trying to play like a similar system. But if you guys have any recommendations, again, get in the changes. But, oh, Casemiro, he's going to make things so much better. Get out of there, Max Source. Get out of there. Sorry, <laughs> speaking on emotion. Ronaldo up top for Rashford. Even though I think... A guy, I think Ronaldo, I mean, sprint speed, he's lucky to be the 83 sprint speed still. Like, this season, I wouldn't say he's playing at 90 overall, but, you know, he's still Cristiano Ronaldo, incredibly talented and physical specimen. He's amazing. <laughs> uh, let's take a look. Uh, Debravka, I don't mind him as a backup goalkeeper. Like, he's, yeah, decent signing there. But, look, Wambasaka, like, he's someone he's, he's dropped off. I, I, I'm, I'm happy where they have... You don't like when they maybe 
rate a player poorly, but is it accurately? That's what I'm trying to get at here. Maybe they're just being accurate. And, like, also I'm saying, Man United, like, right back is a signing that needs to be triggered, really. And Malassia, you really like him, and he's a good prospect. If you if we go over, uh, where are we? Yeah, scroll down. Yeah, he's 22. Like, he can really just develop and, yeah, have that position as, as his own. Uh, no, continue editing. Uh, that's like, And Luke Shaw, he's in a sticky situation. Like, he's 26 and 80 overall. I'm not going to go out. I'm not going to, like, sell everyone and like that. But you can tell long-term. Like, Martial, again, there's a lot of these average guys um, when they're experienced, and like Donny van der Beek as well, he might have a little bit more future about him, but he's 25. He's, he's mid-20s, man. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting. Uh, as I said, I don't want to I don't want to ship any of these guys out too early. Uh, we want to play with the first-team squad, and Phil Jones is there just... Um, man, I just have so much feelings towards Phil Jones, and they're not good feelings at all. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of rebuilding. There's a lot of building. And even Rashford, 81. See, now Rashford is not like a 21-year-old, like 20, 20, or he's got like, oh, he might still have decent potential, but he's in his mid-20s. Like, that's where the interesting thing is right now. Uh, Ericsson, we might just switch this up for him. Yeah, just so he's not on negative. <laughs> Fix that up. And Anthony, right wing. He's exciting though, Anthony. This is not like there's team. There's oh man, there's so much I want to do with this team. Like there's ticks. Like Anthony's a tick. Varane's a tick. Martinez, I've liked him early. So hopefully he develops. Maybe we'll just train him really, really hard because uh, I think he and Varane, Maguire, get out, Maguire. See, does any other Manchester United fans like me? You're like, there's some players, they're almost to the level of disgusting you. They're still at the club. So, yeah, uh, we just yeah, play. this kind of placeholder for now. Bruno Fernandes star. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ronaldo, he's the best at the team for now. <laughs> like he, I, I talked about him. Uh, but that's what I mean. Is he still the best United player? Uh, Casemiro, I'm so glad a good DM was signed. <laughs> Obviously, I know when you play through them, you'll get better ratings, but I'm just simulating it for now. Simply for now, we're not going to go through play training sessions on the first day yet. As the seat as as a whole, I'll play I'll play this in the next stage, and yeah, <laughs> we'll have good ratings. See, I'm actually intrigued if we're gonna get transfer offers, like before actually trying to yeah push someone out. Uh, so we'll go to the inbox. Then again, I like how that is. Like to answer me, yep, uh, that's with uh, scouting. Uh, Bruno, yep, coming to greet me. The future's exciting. Well, it it's exciting, but there's work to be done. There's changes to be made to be excited. And yeah, okay. <laughs> After a decent amount of time, all those like ex explanations of the different features, but they're not new features, so it's not crazy. Axel, again, as I said, I've got to take initiative and the feel of what most people think. Or, like, Axel. Like, he's no longer a young prospect. He's Like, he's going to struggle to get to 80 overall, honestly. And there's better centre-backs ahead of him. So, as I said, we might not be going for a transfer negotiation. I don't want to make any, yeah, unrealistic moves. And especially transfers were made in real life already. So, yeah, I just want to see how the negotiations are. That's what we're getting at here. Let's see what the negotiations uh, let's see what the feel we get here. And how how similar is going to be. Because I just want to try... Oh, yeah. A new feature. As I said, we've got to go through. Tension. And see a bit of Ten Hag would be fitting as well. Uh, let, we're not going to up it too much. We'll go maybe six million. Uh, I think that will be a good... Like a solid fee. All right. And again, you can like hear the lads in training as the the sounds. I don't mind that. Six million. Arms crossed. <laughs> One percent salon. Okay, it looks like they're not budging like too much. So we're probably going to go five and a half. Come on, mates. You can see the tension as well. So that's where you can get a, you can get a gauge. And then remove a salon. No, mate. 
No, we don't really need that. Uh, proposed transfer fee. Yeah, that's what we did. Submit the offer. Yeah, five and a half. God, that's a decent negotiation. Yeah, and I always say I like when it says that. Which, when you don't want to let him go easily, that's when you, you know you made a good deal. Like, you didn't, you didn't sell him for too cheap. So hopefully, yeah. Uh, let me know if you guys agree with that or not. Axel, like, I think realistically, yeah, we want Axel to develop into a good player, but I don't think he's going to get there, to be honest. And, yeah, uh, 24. These guys are not youngsters. We can't let these lads get to 28, 29, like Jesse Lingard, and still think he's an 18-year-old with his career ahead of him. Uh, <laughs> not quite, but... Yeah, we gotta we gotta make some harsh manager decisions, and yeah, mate, uh, seventy four for an eighteen year old will be good, but for a twenty four year old, um, yeah, mate, you're you're in the reserves, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, we wanted to go to the friendly, even though Al Shabab or the Shabab Club, yeah, oh, that's a good that's gonna be a good feel for me. And even as I said, if we do that for this episode, there's still gonna be a solid amount of time. Yeah, August. If you guys really even want me to make a signing or not. As we saw, we saw the kind of transfer negotiations. Like, you might just want to play with United's team in real life, really. So, yeah, I just, yeah, I like to see your guys' uh, thoughts and feelings. England covered and completed. Oh, yeah, as I said, that GT, yeah, the GTN stuff, I think. Yeah, I'll go base my scouting on you guys. I think you guys are generally my uh, better scouts <laughs> than the game. But it's, you know, realistic, I suppose. No, this is not realistic. Mal he just signed. Uh, broken down so that... Uh, but to be fair, I'm not going to get mad about that unless it keeps happening too often. But maybe he just didn't want to go to France and play for that team. Uh, Estac Troyes. <laughs> like, yeah, that's fair enough. So we're not going to... Yeah, I like to be level about that. Maybe you just didn't want to go there. Like, I couldn't think a more unrealistic transfer, though. FIFA. FIFA and unrealistic transfers. We made again. But no. I'm going to block offers because he's a new transfer. But that could not not have been the team, like, who else would have been, like, more obvious rejection than Manchester City? Like, EA, man, they're, like, making it so obvious. <laughs> oh, I love that, but to kind of make fun of it, though, yeah. Uh, a little disappointed Axel didn't go out, but, hey, he didn't leave, and I showed you guys the negotiations uh, in case uh, there's some people that wanted him to still stay at the club, but he's... He's not there, man. I feel maybe he needs a loan spell. If he can push to 80 overall at his best, he could be rotation maybe. I'm just trying to look out for the lad and just trying to see how he could keep him at the club. But <laughs> he'll still need some good development. Six plus. And yeah, Le Shola. He He's... He, I mean, he's 16. He, mate, you need development. That's for sure. And I think Bora, yeah, I think that's a good loan move for you, lad. Yep. I think that's good. Verratt, no. Bayern Munich. Oh, wait. That must be a swap, yeah? Who's the... Oh, Pavard. I mean, Pavard's decent, but... Well, it's just a no because it's not fitting. You know what I mean? Because Varane is still fairly a new United signing. But I don't personally... <laughs> I don't, like, because I think about it just from a career mode perspective so much, and you think about the ages, uh, but no, that's not, <laughs> you're like, mate, why are you, con I wasn't considering it, I was just explaining the logistics of that transfer, I don't think it was the worth, worst player offer there. For Benjamin Pavard, he's, he's okay, but <laughs> Varane's still better, but yeah, I'm just trying to analyse that. Uh, I guess that presentation of transfer is just, that looks kind of, like, that's basically copy and paste. They didn't really, but, yeah, they could have maybe updated that a little bit. And Almiron, Almiron, Liverpool's down bad. They're going to sign Almiron. That's tough. I might not, I might, yeah, I might not mind facing them now. I might not f mind facing Liverpool. 
Like, honestly, like, he's... No, I don't dislike him. I just don't think he's a great player. And Correa signing for Arsenal there, and even that welcome, that their bit of copy-paste. That's the only thing. Yeah, because I like the menus in that. Hmm. If they could have just not copy-pasted those stuff, uh, my feelings would be a little bit more better towards it. But no, nah, I'm still happy overall. It's EA. Our expectations can't be too high. Uh, and yet, Jeremy, that's just another GTN. But yeah, that's... Yeah, I'm like clicking there like with my th uh, thumbs. Yeah, that's like smooth and quick. Like it's as quality as your yeah, console. Partially, you know, you, you need a good PC to run it as well. <laughs> Weird flex. All right, what's coming up now? Yeah, okay. Oh, mate, he looks so worried he's going out. But I like, yes. Okay. Is there any exchange? Do they say anything? But we don't. <gasps> that looks so sad, man. You like, y you send him out. Okay. But see, okay. Before I get too up in arms about that, if every time you sell a player or loan them out, it's exactly that, that like cut scene. Like, you're going to get bored of that quick. So I wonder, yeah, how, how often that's going to be doled out. But really, yeah. Good squad depth. Okay, Bruno Fernandes. Yeah, we know he's a key player in that position. Okay, I like that description. It's, or not just description, but how uh, graphically, how that is laid out. you got the wage coverage and yeah, that's fine. We want him to get game time. Yeah, I like how that, Okay, I'm 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 quite happy with that. Yeah, no doubt. Ah, uh, it's really good. Ah, uh, everything. I'm 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 gonna real. I can tell. You can tell early if you're gonna enjoy the game, at least off the menus and this stuff here. Yeah, I'm personally really I'm really liking it. Okay. Luke, I, honestly, I'd almost consider this, but at the same time. Like, Luke Shaw is backup slash rotation for Malaysia. Like, he's... Uh, this is not happening now. But if you guys think we should sell him, yeah, at a later date. And let's put our foot down saying, okay, we reject that. It's not what we want. There's no harm in that. And release clauses, we might take a look. I'm sure the CPU is not going to poach us, like, or poach our players or, or release clause. Not in the, the first... <laughs> Not in the first episode we're doing. Yeah, we just want to get to, yeah, the first uh, kind of preseason game. And you see now it's just at the end of the week. Yeah, it's Saturday. So, uh, yeah, not too far off. You think we won't get too many interruptions. But during this, of course, we're getting, yeah, we're getting the vibe of the career uh, for FIFA 23. So, let's go. Hi, Dara. He looks pretty realistic and just the quality of his player model, you could say. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, there's a whole lot of information. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with how everything's laid out. Oh, Suchek. Arsenal, okay. Grammat looks mad. Mad. The just the amount of the amount of moves. And it's going to be interesting to see how, yeah, so like we play, we line up against Arsenal and big Thomas Suchek. I actually rate him very, very highly. He's a quality player. And for me, ah, oh, see you later, Liverpool. I actually might need to be better defensively against Liverpool now. No Firmino. He's probably not the biggest danger in the team. <laughs> nah, just having fun. Just having fun. But this is what, yeah, Al Shabab. Yeah, thought it was Al Shabab. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a good first test. It's a game we should win. But as I said, I'm, I'm excited because this is my... F Obviously, we're up and we're up and about, which is like, yeah, we're excited about the career mode. But this is going to be my first game. And again, my classic thing uh, we do every single time. Uh, regardless if we play to Legendary, same will be on Ultimate... When you go to the game settings, and there's a whole lot of stuff here though, but the thing we want to show user gameplay. We don't touch this. We don't. We don't try and make things easier. We we play the game, and hopefully, 
Well, well, to be fair, sometimes you might need to adjust sliders to make it a bit more fair. But when we talk years back, people would see adjusting sliders as a bad thing, like you're trying to make it easier. <laughs> In recent years, you need to adjust sliders maybe just... Okay, we might see if we can get... Uh, yeah, can Casemiro be, like, edited? No, that's even worse. Can we just switch him for now? Because we already did that. So, I think you have to refresh if it, yeah, refresh the tactic. And then we go back to what we did with Ericsson and Anthony. Uh, so, that's me just kind of... That's the same... You ch yeah. You couldn't change it back to CDM. So, we're just going to leave him. <laughs> we're not going to touch that. He just needs sharpness, really. So, that's not a bad thing for him. That's not a bad position for him. Bad posi bad role, more specifically. So I may even like Van der Beek ahead of McTominay off the bench. And Alanga for the future, not bad. Fred, I don't know. I, I like Fred slightly more than McTominay. I think he just can be a bit more pushing forward, you know? But all right, now we move into the part where we're interested. Okay, let's see how the gameplay is. Uh, as I said, PC, we are on next gen, as you can see by the menu gameplay and uh, how it's all smooth and all that. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what it's like this year, guys. And let's see how good I am this year <laughs> off the first game. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. All smiles ahead of kickoff. What sort of impact can he have at this club? First impression. Stay with us on EA TV. Let's go Ten Hag. Yeah, we're 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 taking we're, we're taking the reins for yourself <laughs> uh, here. So hopefully we do you proud. And hello from the King Abdullah Sport City here in Jeddah in Saudi all right. Arabia. And again, we won't continue too much. But all right, okay. Default camera. Always. Play a name. Yeah, indicator, play a name, I think. I, yeah, I always do that once every year, basically. So I think that's it. And so you know... Yeah, that's that EA's... I'll leave it for a little bit to see what you guys think. Because I played... Okay. Because I, 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 I did uh, get an Xbox Series X. Well, thanks, Derek. This is their first I feel... To get their match fit. Okay. Hold, hold up. Yeah. See, the players go... Oh, See, I don't want to blame that, though. I don't want to... But for me, that camera's not it. For th That's not it. So make sure you change that right away again. I didn't even get time to fuck it. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, single play, at least. Default. Oh, you can tell when you go to default, it changes. That's more, yeah. Come on. Let's take a look what we did there. Not much, nah. We didn't, we did, nothing, nothing much happened there. I mean, they got a goal. Well done. But I felt like, okay. I didn't get time to feel the gameplay. Okay. Passes feel a little heavier. That's not bad, but I'm just getting the feel. I'm liking it, though. I'm not liking when the passes don't go through, though. I haven't touched tactics yet. Haven't touched anything. <laughs> no way. That would have been insane. Oh, that's that's unlucky. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one goal lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Oh, that short passing. Like, oh my god. And keep in mind, keep in mind the quality. Like, cool. As I said, first match here. That's a top quality finish. I was eyeing to play Al Shabab because maybe they. What's, what's that pass? See what I mean? I. Th they're, they're doing that. Let's 
So. But, yeah. The, it's just feeling very sluggish around the defence. Catch him offside, so yeah. Super early. So. I'm just trying to get it. Yeah, just trying to get a feel of it at this point. I'm not like. <laughs> oh. All right. I'm almost seeing it as learning. You got to be at this point. Oh, send the off. Send him. That's a red card, yeah, Guaca, Guanca, Guanca, Guanca. Sorry, I'm going crazy because he went crazy on my player, man. Like, what do you call that in pre-season? Oh, not quite. <laughs> we just get into it. It's game on. We're heated. Carlos. Oh my god. Might really be able to trouble them here. <laughs> I wouldn't want to concede now where we got an extra man. An cross. We got it. We got a reason to turn it around now. No, oh, thank you, De Gea. One of them you could save. One of them you actually saved. I'm happy. I'm happy. Trying to pick out a teammate. It hasn't come to very much. At this point. Offside. Thankfully, though. But ruled offside. Well, it all happened very quickly, so I wouldn't criticise him too much. At least he was in there. Okay. Bruno Fernandes. Ericsson. We're just getting a feel. Okay, can we... Yeah, don't be afraid to just switch it. Oh, my God. What happened? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> when we got our closest to goal. Oh. Sancho. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. That's weird. Oh. Does it look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Oh, that could be a good Anthony. Yes. He continues as well. Ah. Can you tell it to be Yeah, sluggish. Hmm. Game. That's me analyzing gameplay wise, or like settings and all that. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? To make it run at its best. Anyway. Oh, how did that not make? Like yeah. Oh. Okay. I pass that. Now. Now with Sancho. Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo! First shot. We got an opening. Corner kick. Okay, we need to learn how to take corners, guys. Oh, so this is something a little different. Oh, initially, I was saying that sarcastically. <laughs> I need to learn how to take corners. Oh! Oh, I get... Oh! You can tell from my reaction. That's a really poor finish. Yeah, well, it was a poor finish because he, like, passed it. I thought maybe we just got to learn, okay, more power. Now, these little things, but, man, like, yeah. As I said, first game, first game. Uh, we've got an extra man, but we're not going to go crazy. We're not going crazy because... Back in business. United when they got the ball, we need to defend. Ericsson. Oh. Ericsson, that was a bit more clean. Passing and then <laughs> gameplay-wise. Okay, let's get an idea. Oh, that's better. 
Oh, come on. It was all, I'll leave that in because of how close it was. But yeah. Uh, and there's Luke. I'm not even considering bringing you on, but yeah. So clearly there's something that can be adjusted. That's a dangerous ball. I thought that actually looked good if someone was near post. So yeah, guys, just keep in mind, we'll adjust some settings. If you know what settings they might be, let me know. <laughs> Okay. Ah. We can't concede when we've got an extra man, at least. <laughs> All right. Oh, Bruno. Again, it's 100% clean, but we can get through. No. Yeah. I didn't want to pass across. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So, yeah, guys, I know the hundred or, or the gameplay is not 100% clean. Uh, if you guys any know any, yeah, any settings. Uh, obviously, yeah, like we've been saying, yeah, it's next gen. It's, uh, it's a bit more higher demand this year. A bit more higher demand, but, yeah, uh, let me know. Because I generally like to run everything at, at high quality. So, maybe just, yeah, need to mess around a little bit. Uh, with the settings so continuing with like the yeah action. clearly still behind, but this game very much a clearly we'll adjust something so keep that in mind <laughs> I hadn't had a chance to play yet <laughs> to get a vibe to get a feel okay can we get oh I thought we were going to run on to that Ronaldo could have just a bit more strength maybe Ah, uh, no. Nah. Don't. I've got to get on. Oh, my God. I went right in front of him. <laughs> I thought we did that well defensively. He still found his way past. Come on. Oh, that that, that's annoying. They got them into a perfect position. That was well done, though. Well done by Al Shabab. <laughs> but, like, you see what I mean? Yeah. That's disappointing. Like, they just... You know when you're not going to win a header, and that happens. Yep, fair enough. That's... You... It's hard. At least once you feel that, that you're going to, yeah, lose positioning. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Ah, oh, even... Well read. See, uh, you never know. Like, look, they're actually quite attacking. Play this. Ronaldo. And even... Yeah, it's a bit slower. So we're just something. We'll adjust something. Okay. Yeah. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. It's my first game of FIFA 23. <laughs> Is that that's a main reason, I think. It's been a poor defensive display. And we'll mess with these setting because again, that's another showcase. Come on. Oh, look. But even their positioning... Oh, no! How did that not go to Ronaldo proper? Because he was so open, maybe. <laughs> Could have been a goal. Oh, wow. He was open. Oh, this is really interesting that things are opening up when it's... Oh, it's too late, though. Wow, that's really intriguing. Like, we forced them with a bit of pressure there as well. All right. Really interesting this is. Oh, Bruno couldn't even... Ah, damn. But we're learning, we're learning. Maybe need that aim more across goal. Even though I held it right across. We'll find a way to work that out. But anyway, 
What I take more out of that is, I'm going to have to mess with some settings. But yeah, uh, for any of you PC FIFA experts, uh, let me know what things we reduce. <laughs> let me know what things we reduce. It wasn't that bad, but yeah, there's definitely something we need to adjust. And on the balance of play, it wasn't too poor, but... Uh, yeah, that's why we wanted to play our first game here. So we can get an idea, okay, what things we need to adjust. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, let alone... I feel like, tactically, we didn't even get a feel what we needed what, what we need to change, though. If you look at it as a whole, uh, it's just like, yeah, get our game going and, yeah, getting used to the new game. One of them was a corner where we just lost out positioning. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was straightforward. Uh, that we're going to lose the header from there. But anyway, yeah, my point is uh, we're definitely going to fix... Uh, we're going to look anyway, maybe just to reduce a couple things uh, on the PC side uh, to just make it a bit more cleaner and that will provo uh, provi <laughs> provide some better gameplay and better quality uh, FIFA from my side. But yeah, we wanted to... Okay, we'll take a look if there's any relevant message. Uh, yeah, that's just another GTN. <laughs> Once more, we say that. Uh, but yeah, obviously on paper... Fernandez first goal of the season not enough yeah on paper losing against Al Shabab that's not a good that's not a good start but again <laughs> when you uh, when you look at all the things as a whole it's somewhere to build off of it's somewhere to build off of of course so uh, it just getting a feel honestly even in the first ten Premier League games I'm giving me giving myself some leeway yeah but yeah gonna get a feel of the new guy in the past remember when there used to be demos I played 50 plus games if not close to a hundred so yeah this is getting a feel but we can't let it be too much we can't let it where it would impact the league games as well so at the same time I do want to get into the league relatively right I don't want to play like the whole preseason uh oh if anything I'll play some games like in kickoff just to get the feel of the game uh yeah i'll probably do that but anyway thank you guys for watching this video today and of course yeah we're gonna get some more games in we're gonna uh yeah put in some better performances and as i said um yeah just some things to make the game a little bit more cleaner as well if anything the, for that as well i'll play some games in the kickoff uh, so yeah, from here forward, it'll be all good because of course uh, it's a step up. The it's a step up uh, higher this year in terms of the uh, demand on PC and yeah, because it's on next gen. I think that's why EA were hesitant about it because there'll be a lot of people that may not have the highest quality PCs, uh, even maybe not. Yeah, like mine's maybe about five years old, but it's still um, I like to think good quality because uh, it's been good enough to this point. But anyway, we're gonna leave it there. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. Check out my new channel as well, uh, or old reform channel. <laughs> yeah, for a bit of extra content, player career mode coming on that as well. So, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff coming, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys are excited for it. Leave a thumbs up for the next episode. Get your comments in. I'll see you guys in the next one.